Hello, I'm Mr. Franz, and we're going to talk about pH and how to calculate it from the hydrogen ion concentration. We're also going to talk about how to calculate the hydrogen ion concentration from the pH, and we're also going to talk about such other things as the pOH and the hydroxide ion concentration. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a sample problem that's on your example sheet uh, for notes. The first example problem, number one, says, what is the pH of a solution with a hydrogen ion concentration of 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter, or 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3 molar? The first thing we ought to do is look at some rules of thumb or some general rules to help us decide approximately what our pH should be. And that's pretty easy to do if we look at this power right here, 10 to the negative 3. Now you might remember when we did the foldable graphics organizer that we listed the pHs from 0 to 14 in the center. And we also listed the hydrogen ion concentrations just to the right of that. You found when you did your foldable that the pH, for instance pH 7, matched up pretty well with the hydrogen ion concentration 1 times 10 to the negative 7. So the negative exponent there, negative 7, indicated that the pH was 7. Just like the pH of 8 had a negative exponent 1 times 10 to the negative 8, and so on. So this number here and this number here are the same except for that sign. Well, let's take a look here. 10 to the negative 3. So if we look down here at 1 times 10 to the negative 3, that's a pH of 3. So we would expect 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3 to be somewhere around 3. We can take the 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3, and we look down here we see 10 to the negative 3. We have to decide is 5.4 more or less than this 1. Well, it's more than 1. We can write it in decimal notation like this, and it's a little bit easier to see, 0 0.0054. Let's do all of these in decimal notation, and let's find the one that's closest. 1 times 10 to the negative 3 is 0 .001. Where does this fall in relation to this list? Well, it falls right about here. So if we draw a line, we can see that 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3, or 0 .0054, is a little more than 0 .001 but not as much as 0 0.01. So our pH is going to fall somewhere between 2 and 3, so it'll be 2 point something. But what that is, we need to use a calculation to find out. Over here is the calculation that we're going to use. We can just follow the arrow from the hydrogen ion concentration up to the pH, and we'll use this equation right here. So first let's clear this stuff away and write the equation down pH equals the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Well, this is our hydrogen ion concentration in our given, so let's just substitute. pH is equal to the negative log of 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3. Now me, I just used the log on my calculator, and I don't put the negative sign in. I flip the sign after I'm done. When I do that, I plug in 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3 and hit the enter button. I get a number like 2.2678. Well, that's way too many significant figures to show for a pH. Remember that these pHs are exponential. Every pH number, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, is 10 times, or 1 tenth, depending on direction, uh, of the number just before it. Next, let's calculate the pH, or pardon me, the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution with a pH of 9.6. So we're going to list our pHs here the way we did on our foldable and their associated hydrogen ion concentrations. So we're looking for 9.6, so somewhere in between 9 and 10. So our hydrogen ion concentration will be somewhere between 1 times 10 to the negative 10 and 1 times 10 to the negative 9. So it'll be something times 10 to the negative 10. We just don't know what. So we can plug that into our uh, calculations. The hydrogen ion concentration is 10 raised to the power of the negative pH. And we can find that by just uh, doing this uh, equation right here backwards. Okay, so we did it already going this way, and now we're going to go this way. 
10 to the negative 9.6 is a big number like this, 2.5119 times 10 to the negative 10th. We only have two significant figures. That's the last two digits there in our pH. So let's round our number to two significant figures, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 10 molar. That's the hydrogen ion concentration. Question number three says, what is the pOH of a solution with an OH concentration, a hydroxide concentration, of 3.7 times 10 to the negative 7? Well, when we did pHs, we found that the pH was the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration and that we could calculate the hydrogen ion concentration that way. Well, we can do the same thing with the OH concentration. The pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So we're actually over here on this side, and we're going to go from OH up to pOH. So we need a pOH scale. So we've got one right here. Notice that it's the inverse of the pH scale. So something that has a pH of 14 has a pOH of 0. If it has a pH of 13, it has a pOH of 1. So they're just opposites from each other. Uh, they still represent, just like the 10 to the negative 14 represents a pH of 14, 10 to the negative 0 on hydroxide ion concentration represents a 0 of pOH. So our 3.7 times 10 to the negative 7 is going to be somewhere between 10 to the negative 7 and 10 to the negative 6. So our pH is going to be, pardon me, our pOH is going to be 6 point something, so it's not quite... Um, uh, 7. It's somewhere in between 6 and 7. That's our pOH again, not our pH, because that's what we're looking for. So 6 point something. Plug that in to our equation, and we have the negative log of 3.7 times 10 to the negative 7. Remember, we're going up this direction right over here. We end up with this number, but we only have two significant figures in our OH concentration, so let's round our pH to two significant figures. And Remember that the significance of a pH comes after the decimal point, so we have two significant figures here. The first digit is really only the magnitude, kind of the way this number, 10 to the negative 7, is the magnitude of, of this molarity. Uh, this right here is the magnitude of the pH. And th these are the significant figures. What is the hydroxide ion, ion concentration of a solution with a pOH of 4.5. So we're still on the right side of our square, but instead of going from OH up to pOH, we're going to go from pOH down to OH concentration. So here are our hydroxide ion concentrations over here on the left and our pOH, again not pH. We want to find 4.5, so somewhere in between 4 and 5. So our hydroxide ion concentration is going to be somewhere between 1 times 10 to the negative 5 and 1 times 10 to the negative 4. So 1 times 10 to the negative 5, so it'll be something times 10 to the negative 5. Let's plug it in, and again, we're doing the same thing we did with pH, but we're doing it with pOH to find hydroxide. 10 to the negative of the pOH, so 10 to the negative 4.5, that's this number up here, I left off the 0. And we get this great big long number, which we're going to round to two significant figures, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 5, because we have two significant figures right up here. So the hydroxide ion concentration is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. Number five, what is the pH of a solution with a pOH of 11.5? So here we're going to use um, this equation right across the top, so right over my head up here. Uh, the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So here's our pH and here's our pOH uh, on these two columns. And if we move them apart here and put some pluses in, we see that, guess what? They total 14. I'll leave that up for a second. So if pH plus pOH equals 14, then we need to find um, something plus the pOH equals 14. So pH equals 14 minus pOH. 14 minus 11.5, that was our given, means that the pH is 2.5 or 2.50. Very simple. So what 
plus the given equals 14. Most of you can do that without uh, even having to put pen to paper, uh, but please do show your work. The last one is the OH concentration. Um, what is the OH concentration? Hydroxide of a solution that is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 8 moles per liter. Um, pardon me, that is the hydroxide ion concentration. So what is the hydrogen ion concentration? So remember up here how pH plus pOH equals 14. Well down here, H concentration plus OH concentration uh, or times OH concentration is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So that's times. Uh, so hydrogen ion plus hydroxide ion uh, times hydroxide ion equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So uh, let's do this. We'll put these two together and multiply them all and you'll see the product is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 all the way down. So hydroxide plus uh, times hydrogen is uh, equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So that means it's pretty easy to solve for one given the other. If one times the other is equal to one times 10 to the 14, then one times 10 to the negative 14 divided by one of them will give you the other one. So how about this? The hydrogen ion concentration, our, our uh, concentration we're looking for, is one times 10 to the negative 14 divided by our given and we get that number. We can round that to two significant figures since that was in our given and the hydrogen ion concentration is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Use this um, uh, pH square when you do your worksheet so that you understand what you're doing. We've got examples of each one of these so we've got pH going uh, to H and we've got H going up to pH. And the same thing we've got to pOH going down to OH and OH going up to pOH going across and going across.